Hi, mathematicians. It's me, Miss Altman, and it's amazing to see you. Before we get started, let's take 20 seconds to grab some supplies that we will need for our time together today. You will need paper and a pencil. I'm going to go and get mine. Why don't you go ahead and do the same? See you in a little bit. Today we are going to learn a new strategy where we decompose or break apart one of the factors in a multiplication equation. There are two very important math vocabulary words I want you to remember during this lesson. Those words are factors and product. Let's take a look at a multiplication problem. Three times four. Factors are the numbers being multiplied to produce a given number. In this problem, three and four are the factors. The product is the result when two factors are multiplied. In this example, the product is 12. Sometimes we might have a math problem to solve and we may not immediately know the product. We can decompose or break apart one of the factors to help us solve the problem. Let's solve a word problem and I will show you how to decompose a factor. Are you ready? Jaquan's cat eats four cans of cat food each day. How many cans will his cat eat in one week? Let's write an equation to represent this problem. What are the factors or the numbers being multiplied in this problem? That's right! Four and seven are the factors. Oh, someone has a question. How do we get seven? It's because we need to multiply by the number of days in one week. And we know that they are seven days in a week. Multiplying the factors four times seven will give us the product, which is the total number of cans of food that Jaquan's cat eats each week. What's that? You don't remember your seven facts? That's totally okay. This is the perfect opportunity to learn how to decompose or break apart a factor to help solve this problem. Let's break the factor seven apart. Hmm. I wonder how we should break the factor seven apart. Whisper it to me. I heard someone say that seven is the same value as four plus three. That's excellent thinking. We should decompose four times seven into two groups. Four times three and four times four. Look at how that changes our array. Four times seven is the same value as four times three plus four times four. Do you recall those facts? Oh, you do? Great, let's think about the product of each one. What is the product of four times three? That's right, four times three is 12, very good. Okay, how about four times four. What is the product of four times four? Correct, the product of four times four is 16. Now we can add both products back together to solve our original problem. Let's try it out. 12 plus 16 equals 28. Wow. Well done. Let's recap. Our original problem was four times seven. Some of our mathematicians did not remember their seven multiplication facts. So we decomposed or broke apart the factor seven into four and three. Four times seven was decomposed into two groups. Four times three equals 12 and four times four equals 16. Then we added both products together. 
12 plus 16 equals 28. That's our answer. So four times seven equals 28. By decomposing the factor seven into four and three, we were able to solve the problem efficiently and accurately. What's that? Oh, your thinking is absolutely correct. You can break the factor seven apart in different ways. There are many ways to decompose numbers. Let's think about that as we solve another problem. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's use our strategy of decomposing a factor to solve nine times six. Which factor should we decompose? I heard someone say that we should decompose the factor six. We could have decomposed either factor, the six or the nine, but since one of the mathematicians suggested six, let's decompose that factor. How should we decompose the factor six? Yes, we could decompose six into three and three. Very good. If we decompose the factor six into three plus three, that means we can rewrite our problem nine times six as nine times three plus nine times three. Now we have two groups of nine times three. Decomposing the factor of six makes the problem easier to solve. So let's solve it. What is nine times three? Let's use an array to represent the multiplication for each group of nine times three. What is the product of nine times three? That's right, 27. Because we have two groups of nine times three, we have to represent that twice. Now we can add the products together. 27 plus 27 equals 54. We decompose nine times six into nine times three plus nine times three to find the product of 54. Awesome! Let's decompose nine times six another way by decomposing the nine. This is so much fun! What are the different ways that we can break apart the factor nine? I'll give you some time to think about that. Turn and talk to a friend or trusted adult. What are all the different ways that we can decompose the factor nine? You are doing an excellent job, mathematicians. We can break apart the nine factor into eight plus one, seven plus two, six plus three, four plus five, and so on. Wow, that's a lot of ways to break apart the factor of nine. Which one should we pick? That is, which way should we break apart the nine factor so we can solve nine times six? Oh, you want to decompose the nine into four and five? That's a great idea, we can do that. Let's rewrite nine times six as five times six plus four times six. Let's solve the product for each problem. What is the product of four times six? That's right, 24. Now what is the product of five times six? You've got it, five times six equals 30. Don't forget we have to add the two products together to solve the problem. 24 plus 30 equals 54. So nine times six equals 54. Decomposing the factor of nine into five plus four helped us think through this problem. Let's take another look using an array to solve nine times six. To solve nine times six, we broke the factor nine apart into four and five, or four times six plus five times six. Four times six equals 24. Five times six equals 30. So nine times six equals 54. 
Did you enjoy learning this strategy? Great! After this video, you should continue trying out this strategy with all the multiplication facts. You can use an array to check your thinking. Today, we learned a strategy where we decomposed or broke apart a factor in a multiplication problem. Decomposing factors is a multiplication strategy that allows you to break one of the factors apart and add them together to solve the original problem. Some mathematicians like this strategy because it allows them to decompose a factor into numbers they are more comfortable with as they become more fluent in multiplying within 100. Thanks for joining me. This was so much fun and I hope you have fun too. Bye mathematicians, until next time.